What happens when you fork Ethereum's financial brain, but you forget to hook up the heart? Well, this is MakerDAO, duplicated onto Pulsechain, and forced to stand without scaffolding. Before roll-ups, before staking wars, MakerDAO was already engineering money. It built DAI, a decentralized stablecoin backed by real crypto collateral. No CEO, no treasuries, no promises. Now Maker was the vote, and DAI was the output, and Ethereum was the settlement layer. It worked. It still does. Now under its new skin, Sky Protocol, and it aims to scale towards a hundred billion supply, using a spark lend, real-world assets, and institutional-grade governance. Now this is DeFi playing the long game, but the fork. Well, that's been a different story. And when Pulse Chain launched, it didn't just clone Ethereum's apps, it cloned the entire state. That means MakerDAO came along for the ride. Every vault, every balance, every bit of DAI. Except governance. It didn't come. Neither did the Oracle feeds, or the risk parameters, or the multi-sig guardians. And so PDAI, Pulse Chain's version of DAI, went live without a backstop and spiralled down today trading around 0.005 it wasn't just lack of oversight it was an outright exploit attackers discovered a vulnerability in the copied contracts allowing them to be p-die with no collateral they minted, they dumped and they drained about 8 million dollars in liquidity from pulse pools. the peg collapsed Confidence vanished, and Pulse Chain's first major stablecoin experiment went offline, but still visible, and barely functional. And the king, Richard Hart, didn't hold back either. Broken, bugged, exploited. Well, he was right, but that wasn't the end of the story. From the fallout came a resurrection attempt, not from Maker Dow, from the Pulse Chain community itself. They call it Pulse Maker Win. Not a rebrand, a rewrite. And that's what they did. They froze minting, proposed Pulse Knighted Collateral, PLS, Pulse X Hex, built a snapshot vote, released new GitHub code, and rebuilt the contract logic to plug the exploit and store structure. Now, this wasn't a bridge, it wasn't a theory of proof. It was a raw, forked DeFi trying to correct its own mistakes. And the chain temple sees, on Ethereum, make it out, well now Sky Protocol, march towards the suits. And Dai's future became cleaner, more centralized, and more compliant. But on Pulse Chain, P Dai has stayed in the wilderness. It's been battered. But for a time, it's lived. And Pulse Maker Win tried to resurrect it, and if it had have succeeded, it would have been something Ethereum could never replicate. A stable coin rebuilt without Wall Street, without middlemen, without permission. Now that's not a failure, is it? That's faith. And if Richard Hart has taught you anything, it is that there's Alpha in the ashes. Because sometimes the dead don't stay dead. They fork and they come back meaner.